largest and smallest. In this video, we will discuss how to get the smallest and the largest elements in the array. We have four variables. In size, which we will use for the initialization. In index, which we will use as a pointer for the array's index on the loops. In smallest and largest, which we will use for storing the values of the smallest and the largest elements. We have here the input part, validation for the size of the arrays, the array initialization, the loop for getting the user's input, the loop for displaying the values of the array. Now, in getting the smallest and largest element, let's assume that the smallest and largest value are the first element of the array. Now in the loop. The first condition is for getting the smallest element. It's just comparing if the assumed smallest is greater than the next element. And if it is greater than the next element, it means the next element is smaller. So we will change the value of smallest to that element. Same goes for the largest number, but the difference is it's choosing less than. So if the assumed largest is less than the next element, the next element is larger. So we will just change the value of largest to that element. And then the loop would repeat. Let's test the program. Size is 5, 37, 95, 100, 4, and 89. There, the smallest is 4 and the largest is 100. We can also get the smallest and largest number through sorting. Once the array is sorted in ascending order, index 0 is now the smallest, and the last index is now the largest. To get the last index, we'll just use array.length minus 1 to match the indices. 